What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another diecast model review. Today we are looking at the NECA Cinemachines Terminator 2 Hunter Killer, the aerial version. Now if you saw my previous review, I just reviewed the uh, Hunter Killer tank and in that review I stated that this is the one I was uh, very excited for. Um, the tank is very cool, um, but I really love the flying hunter killers. To me, this is the iconic uh, Terminator uh, robot next to the T-800. Every time I think of uh, Terminator, the first thing that pops into my head is T-800s and flying hunter killers. So I'm uh, very excited that NECA came out with uh, this line, Cinemachines, and I'm even more excited that they you know, decided to cover Terminator uh, stuff. So I have to say right off the bat, again, NECA did a, an amazing job with this. And this is easily a must-have for any Terminator fan. So, let's take a look. As far as the packaging, we get a window box again. It says Hunter Killer Aerial. Then we have the Terminator 2 Judgment Day 3D. And then in this box, you can get a great view of that uh, future war from Terminator 2. So, very cool. Uh, then on the back, we have a read-up of the Aerial Hunter Killer. So, if you want to read that, pause it now. And then we have the two uh, figures in this line, as well as a grid uh, schematic of this figure. This one comes with a flight stand, which again, if you've got any of the uh, last wave of cinema machines, uh, the Predator ships, it's the same stand, um, has a little swivel here. There's only one negative, which I'll get into about the stand. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. So as for the uh, model itself again NECA did an amazing job with the paint the level of detail the sculpt they really nailed everything for this iconic uh, hunter killer this is the design that I love the most um, in Terminator 3 uh, Salvation and Genesis they kind of messed with the look of the flying hunter killer you know they gave it more wings in the back and all that nonsense this is the classic flying hunter killer uh, that you see in Terminator 1 and 2. So I'm very excited that they gave us this version. Um, just taking a look at the paint, it has a great uh, paint job. It's not as worn as the uh, tank, uh, but that's because obviously this is flying in the air, so it wouldn't get dirty or dusty or anything like that. So this has more of a uh, you know factory fresh uh, finish to it. So you can see they did a great job with the thrusters there, with the fan blades. Um, on the under uh, underside, you can see the engines, uh, the kind of head or face version of this, you could say. You have the big spotlights that you see in the movie, which is very cool. Um, taking a look at the back, I love the uh, back end uh, of this with the big wings. Uh, you know, in the movie, you had the uh, lights, the tail lights, uh, which are kind of sculpted in there. They didn't paint them, but still very cool. Then the underside, again, is very cool. You have these uh, almost like landing pads or arms. You have two in the back and then two up front. And then the coolest feature is the, uh, let me set my camera down here, the turret, because it can fold in. So if this is showing up, so you have the uh, turret right here, which is on a swivel, so it swivels out. So you can have uh, the turret down there, and then it swivels side to side. Let me get into frame here so you can swivel side to side and then the whole arm uh, swivels up and here's a better look at the uh, turret there this one I like a lot more my one complaint about the uh, hunter killer tank is I thought the uh, the plasma cannon or the turret they made a little too small um, this one I do like the length of it so you have the the base of it and then it has a decent size uh, length on the barrel and then a big uh, you know barrel end so that's very cool my only negative is, though, I'm going to set this camera down again. This right here is where the your stand plugs in, this hole. So you can't have uh, this arm swiveled down uh, in a flight pose. You have to have it swiveled out. To some people, that won't be a big uh, issue. To me, it's just a little annoying because sometimes I would like to have it displayed, you know, with the, uh, the gun or the turret kind of tucked away there but it's not a huge deal so the uh, stand just plugs in here the other thing is is you don't really have a lot of clearance between uh, the stand and the gun so I'm afraid that might be an issue maybe some rubbing 
so that makes me a little nervous too. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have it displayed you know just on the ground like that or if I'll use the flight stand. I thought it would be cool to have uh, two of these on a flight stand and then the tank in the middle but that stand just makes me nervous because uh, they you know they put the hole so close to the turrets so I don't want to have any rubbing there. But again this is a, an iconic uh, you know, uh, design, an iconic robot, an iconic uh, vehicle from the Terminator series. Again, for me, uh, this screams Terminator. So every time I think of Terminator, a T-800 and a flying hunter killer is what pops up into my head. Again, just taking a look at the front, I love that they sculpted and colored in the big uh, spotlights in the head portion. And again, NECA just really kills it with the detail. The sculpt, it has almost like a a little bit of a wash to it, bringing out all the different lines uh, and details. So definitely, um, this is my favorite line so far from the Cinemachines, or favorite wave, I should say. Um, the first wave was really good because we had the uh, Aliens uh, um, dropship and the APC, but uh, for my money, these two Terminator figures uh, is the best uh, wave for Cinemachines. So, um, obviously the rating for me would be a 5 out of 5. I, I really don't have any complaints other than uh, the placement of the uh, hole where the um, stand plugs in. So definitely I will be getting uh, one more of these. I want to have at least two. Like I said, it'd be very cool to have two of these on a flight stand uh, with the tank in the middle. So um, right now I think they're starting to ship out to stores. I'm sure Toys R Us has them. Um, so keep on the lookout eBay. Besides NECA eBay, there's a few other sellers I'm seeing that it's popping up there. So definitely get this. Uh, this is this is my favorite uh, Cinemachines figure out of all the lines. Um, I like this even more than the uh, Aliens Drop Ship. So if you're a big Cinemachines fan or if you're a big Terminator fan, if you're a big uh, die-cast model fan, uh, even if you're not a Terminator fan, this is still such a very cool, um, you know, piece to get. So definitely go out and buy it. So hope everyone liked the video, and thanks a lot for watching.